skill? Uh, yes, I think it is very important, and it's important in two ways. Also, I think it <coughs> gathers more attention on poetry if there is, you know, more poets coming. I mean, now I am here the foreigner, but I also organized uh, uh, poetry meetups and uh, kind of festivals in, in Hungary. And uh, we also invited international guests. People are interested in this, I believe. And uh, also it is important that uh, the poets meet with each other and get to know each other. So this is how we can, we can uh, maintain some kind of like connections and, and global understanding of how poetry is. For me, it was very, very interesting and uh, informative. Uh, to see how it is going at your place and this wonderful festival of yours. Nice. Um, do you conceive a poem or does poetry happen to you? I, both, I believe. So uh, it kind of happens when I also when I read it. So I think it is very important that uh, if you write poetry, then you also have to read poetry to understand uh, others and to see yourself uh, also through that and uh, and it also just uh, happens to me in a way that uh, sometimes these lines just come to my mind and then I, I try to but I also I have to form it and I try to form it in a way so so I think it's both ways and you have to make a good balance between uh, how do you see the present world of poetry nationally and internationally uh, you mean Hungarian also, or like that? Yes, Hungarian you also, uh -huh. and mm. how you see like the other mm. I think uh, it's, they always say uh, everywhere and every time that it is very important for now, like in this time, poetry is very important. But I think it's, it's, it's important every time, and uh, it's important, that's what I'm saying, like about connections, that you understand how poetry is done, because uh, I have been and currently I'm living in Turkey, I, I uh, was uh, raised in Hungary and I was living there and I have been to many places of, of the world, not all of course, but uh, what I see is that uh, <coughs> there is uh, this concept of world literature which, uh, which is n not necessarily, uh, I mean that is just some kind of aim poetry wants to have, but I don't think it's, it's important to have a, a uniform poetry all around the world, so that's why I'm saying that it's like uh, Indian and especially Bengali poetry. I didn't know, I mean, I did read, but it is very different if you come here and, and see how things are going and how, how these poets are, are acting and interacting. So I believe in a kind of like anarchic uh, connections of the world and that there is a lot of influence and uh, I hope that poetry also makes an influence in the world. That's the thing. So, um, <coughs> wow. <laughs> What is your take on the city, Kolkata? Uh, is it for your me, first time? <coughs> for me, it is a it is a tricky thing because when I was a, when I was a kid, uh, my father uh, uh, was uh, uh, assigned to Kolkata uh, in the eighties. To uh, he was an engineer and uh, he was uh, one of the leader of the uh, leading engineers of working on the Kolkata Metro. Actually, oh, wow. so yesterday I, I I went to the metro and make, made some photos. <laughs> There were some policemen who were telling me I cannot make any photos, and I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so between '83 uh, and '87, as a very small child, I have been into Kolkata and I lived in Kolkata. Uh, I have my first memories as a child from Kolkata, actually, and uh, and then after it has been 30 years past, yeah. so I could say that it is my first time, but it was also really my second time. It's really interesting. Like when I arrived, it was. Uh, I don't remember so much of the city and I, I believe that a lot of things have changed here uh, but uh, the first thing I recognized was the smells of the city which was from my childhood, it was my childhood smells so it was a very nice thing that I was uh, invited by, by uh, Sonet and Tushar uh, to this festival so that it's also a little bit of a connection with my, with my childhood. Uh, and what I see here now I live in Istanbul so I'm pretty accommodated to these kind of cities uh, it's very, very friendly and it's very, like you say, that it's a city of joy. Uh, it really is so vivid and uh, turbulent and inspiring. I really ha will have to, you know, lay it back for a few weeks and just, <laughs> just to, to digest the whole thing. It's very nice. And also the, 
the festival I wanted to tell about. It's, it's, it's very nice, uh, nicely organized and, uh, and very good poets and uh, very good uh, people are here. So it was a very friendly environment. Thanks to also you for your time. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you have anything to tell to the organizers or, you know, you've already said about yeah, the festival, the I festival think feeling, yeah. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> I just want to thank, thank everyone and then to ask them to keep it up because uh, a lot of people has to have this experience, yeah. I believe, for in the name of poetry and in the name of Kolkata also. Yes, of course. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.